Here we go. I don't know. Oh. Let's just see how it looks. You look like no. a rock star. You look like a rock star. There right. we go. Hey, that's what I like to see. <laughs> <laughs> so St. Patrick's Day is just two days away. <laughs> it is. That means is that what you say? <laughs> Go there's ahead. plenty of time to learn a jig for your St. Patrick's Day party this weekend. That's right. Matteo and Claire Allen and Jenny uh, Pager. Thank you. Our <laughs> championship dancers from the Millennium Academy of Irish Dance and Music. Yes. Good morning, Good morning, girls. ladies. Hello. Right. Hello. Come on over here. Hello. <laughs> now, I feel way underdressed. Look at these ladies. Yeah, talk <laughs> about these dresses. Well, traditionally the dresses have a lot of Celtic knotwork and symbols that come from the Book of Kells. But as you'll see, a lot of our modern dresses have a lot of sparkles. But the younger dancers at our school wear traditional dresses that have navy and gold. And those are the colors from County Tipperary in Ireland where our director is from. Now tell me the deal with the wigs. I'm wearing one. I'm lo I look rather silly. You guys look good in these. Tell me, because you guys all wear the, the hair. Tell me about it. Why? Um, traditionally, the dancers would dance at the crossroads after mass, and their hair would be curled from mass. And wigs became popular because it was easier to wear a wig than to have your hair in curlers all night and try to keep the curls in all day. There's a reason for everything. Now, you guys are performing in 30 different events this weekend, so it's a very busy weekend. Yes. But you're, you're not just performers. You guys compete. What do the judges look for? They look for very turned out feet where your toes are pointing out to the side like this. Okay. So are you going to teach us a few of these? Sure. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Let's go. So this is a simple jig step. Okay. And first you jump with right foot in front of the left. So jump and then pocket. Hop back two, three, four. Two, three, four. So you kind of do like a little tap <laughs> at the like end. Step yes. Back. All right, and just... turned out feet are very important when you're dancing. So okay. you get points deducted if you don't have your feet turned out. Yes. Hey, you, turned you out, have, pal. You have turned two left out, feet, pal. too. Right, let's try it again. So it's so jump, jump, jump. pocket. Pop back, two, three, four. You look great. <laughs> you look good? That's all you got. It just look like you know what you're doing. Now, do you got to keep your arms? Are we keeping the oh, arms yeah, very still? Very... Yes. Yeah. It's very difficult, but it's important to have a strong core and strong legs so that you don't want the arms to distract from the intricate footwork. Normally, the Lord of the Dance, I imitate him. <laughs> I, ha I do this shirtless. But we're not going to do that today, right? This so is a family-friendly <laughs> show, Phil. We don't want to horrify anyone. Hey, for details about classes at the Millennium Academy of Irish Dance and Music, just log on to our website, myfox28columbus.com. <laughs> Click on news links. Here now are Madeline Claire and Ginny dancing to Set of Reels by Two Left Feet. Thank you guys so much. That is a true workout. Good job, guys. You I can never do wig. that. Well, you know, are you keeping no. the wig? Especially with a wig. You know how hot this thing was? It was like a fur coat on Is my it hot? Head. Yeah, yeah the hair hot, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, and coming up next, Fancy Rides. Another look at the best of the best from this year's Columbus International Auto Show.